Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct just past the top of the 8 o'clock hour. I'm meteorologist Austin Anna giving you a wrap-up to what's going on with the weather situation in the Mid-South. Things are a lot quieter than what they were just a few hours ago. The atmosphere has done a very good job of cooling off by just enough to kind of take the edge off so we do not have anything to show you at this point in time in the way of thunderstorms of a severe nature, which is definitely good news. We may see some more potential of that coming up later on this week. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you're just joining us for the first time, again, make certain that you, if you have any reports from around the area, we'd love to see more rain gauge reports, temperature, anything like that going on. So make certain you drop those into the comments section. We'd love to see where you're from, city and state and of course whatever weather you've got going on for the area. If you want to check out and see what's going on again 7 to 10 day forecast lower left hand corner of your screen forecast in the red bar scrolling by at the bottom of your screen and then also again you can get more details on the forecast at wreg.com slash weather. Coming up in just a little bit we'll talk more about the forecast but we will also again see a little bit more of your weather pictures that you have sent in from across the Mid-South and getting some great ones out there. Unfortunately, uh, reports of some damage around the area thanks to those storms that rolled through earlier today. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little while. And of course, we'll have your forecast into the rest of the week as we round out May and head into around Memorial Day and into early June. Things are going to be looking very much on the warm side and are not going to be cooling off anytime soon. Pretty stable Call it stagnant forecast, if you will. We'll talk about that again coming up here in just a little while. Throughout the rest of the evening, temperatures may knock off a little bit, but thanks to those southerly breezes out there that are bringing in the cloud cover and more fuel for the thunderstorms, we're not going to see that much of a huge trend dropping the numbers. So lower 70s by the time we hit News Channel 3 daybreak into tomorrow morning. That may, may be about as good as it gets for much of the area, so not much more beyond that uh, at this point in time. So looking very quiet across much of the Mid-South area. Wade Mitchell, did a tornado hit Pope, Mississippi? Uh, don't think so. We've had no reports from the National Weather Service. It's possible we could see uh, some wind damage out there, but as of right now, we've got no official reports from the National Weather Service, at least at the time of this netcast, but we'll continue to monitor that coming up in just a little bit. Las Vegas, Sherry Sunshine, sounds like a fun place to be for right now. Cloudy and windy, thank you very much. Not a drop of rainfall at I-240 and get well. Yeah, my house uh, back in southeast Memphis, also running a little bit on the dry side out that direction. Uh, Alistair Jones, Milwaukee from Alligator, Mississippi. Thank you very much for joining us. And Scott Jarvis, 75 degrees, light winds northeast, partly cloudy, Banner, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Thanks for stopping by there. Uh, Casey Dent, I work outdoors, will be storming come 6 a.m. We'll talk about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Currently in the Mid-South, again from around, okay, hang on a second computer getting a little cranky at this time. Uh, the view from our tower cam showing Big River Crossing lit up quite nicely. Top of the hour animated display looking nice as sun goes down beyond the horizon on a very cloudy evening in much of the Mid-South. There you can see again a lot of those clouds just enough of a break to catch some light but not exactly some sunshine through that area and as we go into around the rest of the evening getting much darker very soon but very pleasant night and again wrapping things up in Tom Lee Park a lot more empty than what it was about 24 hours ago as the World Championship Barbecue Contest came to a close, but otherwise fairly quiet across the Mid-South for right now. A few showers drifting through around South Haven, back to White Haven, back around the airport area, moving their way back to the north. Beyond that, like last night, we did not pick up too much of anything after about sunset, so we may see a rumble of thunder out there or two. But through most of the rest of the evening, there's just really not that much going on. So more rain showers, diminishing thunderstorms over northeast Arkansas. Some thunderstorms popping up right around Shiloh, close to the Tennessee River in areas of middle Tennessee and back into around portions of northwestern Alabama. And then down into around the Clarksdale area, we've got some more thunderstorms trying to keep going here. Just moved on through the area. We posted a picture from Heidelberg Elementary not too long ago, so we may see more of this activity continue you off and on throughout the course of the rest of the evening. So I would not be surprised overnight to hear some rumbles of thunder, but it looks like our severe weather threat has basically 
for all intents and purposes, come to an end. It's just past 8 o'clock. It was canceled a little while ago. It wasn't going to go much past 8 o'clock anyway, so the severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect for the entire area, that is gone, and not much of anything else to worry about in the way of active severe weather for now. Mid to upper 70s to lower 80s, and it still feels pretty stifling out there with temperatures back in the mid 80s. Heat index temperatures at night. Again, we've got some pretty good amounts of humidity out there, so seeing again some pretty warm conditions across much of the mid south area welcome to everybody checking in for tonight uh into and around the area and beyond that getting check in from indianapolis brenny k jones thank you very much uh for that one checking in for the area locally marianne watson gray a shower in hernando thank you very much to that paulette morrow new Bern, tennessee 69 with a little bit of rain showers in that area and barbara duffield cochran from franklin tennessee just had some rainfall but it looks like it moved on from there okay through the rest of the evening through news channel 3 to 10 we will be on time tonight golf switched over to the golf channel after it was on cbs sports for a while so look for our updated forecast on news channel 3 at 10 through that area around that time frame temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s if we get anything in the way of thunderstorms north mississippi and eastern arkansas looks like it'll be the best target zone for that through about midnight tonight and into tomorrow morning you definitely want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 Daybreak as we see the potential for more showers and thunderstorms off and on. Not a deluge, but still possible. And that means wet streets tomorrow. So if you've got any plans for being outdoors, driving, commuting to work or school, those of you who still have school out there, you may have some slowdowns out there due to some problems. Corey Ventura will have more on Time Saver Traffic bright and early tomorrow morning. And, of course, Todd will have his forecast on Daybreak. So Casey Dent, again, early tomorrow morning, isolated showers and thunderstorms could be a bit of a problem out there. So thanks a lot again for uh, that question. So be prepared for some more rain showers. Jennifer Davis, Oxford, very much on the warm side and more chances of showers and thunderstorms. The moving lines on screen, that's the winds. And coming in from out of the south and east tomorrow, that's going to be bringing a lot of moisture right on in from off the Gulf Coast. Tropics could be getting active in the Gulf later on this week. We'll talk more about that in our other weather segment coming up at about 8.30 on on my Facebook page, so stay tuned for more there. And through tomorrow, temperatures might drop a degree or two thanks to all this rain and cloud cover kind of blocking out the sunshine for just a little bit. So it's going to be warm. It's not going to be quite as hot as today, but it is going to be very noticeably on the steamy side once again. Little, if anything, in the way of drier weather coming through all the way through tomorrow and into tomorrow night. So we're just not seeing a lot of change out there for right now. Mid to upper 80s as we head into tomorrow. Take this forecast that you see here, multiply it times seven, and you got a pretty good idea as to what's going to be heading our way in the course of the next several days. It's just not changing all that much. Mid to upper 80s could come close to 90 degrees. That's not exactly, again, record-breaking, but it is going to be, again, very much on the warm side. So working outdoors, exercising, that's going to be a bit of a problem out there, so please keep that in mind. Also, for later on this week, as schools start to end, you're going to have yearbook signing parties, you got field day, you got graduation, commencement ceremonies, things like that going on. Notice that every single day this week, especially in the afternoon, has some form of showers and thunderstorms possible just about any place across the Mid-South area. So keep that in mind. Mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors, remember when thunder roars, go indoors. Let's make sure everybody stays safe because if you can see the lightning or hear the thunder, you are within range of getting struck by that thunderstorm. Maybe the odds aren't entirely too great in your favor for it, but it is possible. So again, play it safe out there just to be, again, make sure that everybody's out there taking it safe and easy. Uh, as we go into next weekend, the last weekend of May, and heading toward the Memorial Day holiday coming up next Monday. Things improve a little bit. The rain chances look like for now they start to come to an end on Sunday next. We may see a stray shower early on Monday morning, early before daybreak, but that again looks like it's going to dry out by just a little bit, and temperatures will be a little bit more palatable back to about the lower 80s or so, so looking pretty nice there as we go throughout the rest of this next week. Felicia Turnbow, thank you very much for the view of some looks like dime and penny sized hail into and around the area from Strayhorn, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that one. A couple of shots, actually several, these are just two right here from Jackie Smith showing some of the damage from some of those thunderstorms around the old Covington area in Tennessee around Pleasant Ridge, Highway 14. 
trees down and some trees looks like the whole thing was uprooted in some location so we did get some reports of damage out there if you got pictures like this or reports the National Weather Service would love to know more about what happened where and when if you want to go to their web page and find out more about how you can tell them about filing a storm report you don't have to use your name but a location would be nice and again they could use information like this to better study what goes on with severe weather so Jackie Smith thank you very much for that one more of a stormy view than anything else not exactly aftermath of the storm but some very low dark storm clouds from Crystal McAlexander and that was from around the area of Hickory Flat uh, into around Myrtle Mississippi on Highway 78 from earlier today so some stormy conditions there in the Mid-South from Clint Starnes this was from yesterday a nice lightning strike recorded looks like from the backyard in and around the Arlington area thank you very much for that one JP Rockin coming up with again some dime-sized hail into and around the Millington area so thank you very much for that and and Radio Memphis, if you've never listened to them before, Tune Them In, Booze and Blues is on right now, one of the only locally produced blues shows on the internet. And Rick Cheddar, who I've known since about the early 1990s, the head of Radio Memphis, he managed to catch a Frigidaire-shaped hailstone in and around the Cooper Young area. So I think very suspicious that that possibly came from a refrigerator uh, freezer section right there, but a uh, little tongue-in-cheek humor there from Mr. Cheddar. So thank you guys, thank you very much for sending that in from Cooper Young. If you haven't seen his pictures about the fishing hole in the middle of the street at Cooper Young, check out his Twitter feed. It's a very unique commentary on there. Got pictures? We'd love to see them. Send them along to me at aonic underscore wrg3 on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm on so many other social media sites that I don't have time for to tell you about all of them right now, but you can see some of them listed right here with the icons. And as soon as I figure out how to get stuff on the Game Boy Network, I'll let you know. Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3. Check out my forecast again throughout the rest of what's left of the weekend. And, of course, I'll be on with Bob and Josh coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on AM 730. And if you can't reach them on air because you're too far out of range, dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information. Again, we'll be on live on News Channel 3 at 10 with an update. I'll have your complete forecast. Mike Sadie has sports, and Kristen Holloway has all the day's news. Wrapping things up right at 10 o'clock tonight, so tune in for more right after Madam Secretary. Uh, the season finale coming up from that and of course we'll keep you updated as well online all you have to do is go here to wrg.com slash weather questions concerns ideas pictures if you got them you can send them here again to austin.onic at wrg.com we'd love to have you along for the ride thank you to everyone for checking in tune in just after 8 30 tonight on my facebook page we'll take a look at weather where the troops are and we'll also take a look at the tropics which are starting to get active even though hurricane season is just a little bit less then about two weeks away, we may have some storms forming down into around the southern part of the Gulf. We'll talk about that coming up at about 8.30, so stick around for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online.